Hi, I'm Luke Fleer, and this is just a bit of a background video on my new release, my new album, Looks Country To Me. So Looks Country To Me is a catalogue of music. Um, it's my first step into country music. And it's the first time I've released music where I really felt like I was clear in the direction I was going in. I really felt like I knew what I was doing with it. You know, I've been writing, recording, releasing music since I was 16. And some of those songs that I released, I kind of went back and rewrote and re-recorded and put them on the album because I felt like they could belong to the album if they were done, if they were done right. And honey, there's a burning flame that's claimed my name and today is gonna be... I think if I had to decide my favourite two songs on the album, firstly I'd go with the title track um, because it really is me introducing myself to the country music audience. I'm acknowledging the fact I'm English um, and I'm also acknowledging the fact that I feel like you can identify with country music without having to be from Nashville or Oklahoma or wherever. Um, if you if you if you feel authentic with it and you write if you write it well and it's from the heart, which is what country music is, it's music which tells a story. And I also think Tassels and Flares, just because it's such a fun song to play live. Um, it's another song which I wrote specifically for the album um, to let people know that I'm willing to explore my kind of rock and roll country roots that have always been in there. I don't mean I'm bragging, no, I've never been the type to spew things in this world that will ever meet their hype. There's one thing that I've never been so modest about, I can't lie. Why country music? Um, it's a good question. Um, I feel like I've always had it in me, you know, I was brought up on, you know, a lot of a lot of English artists who sang with like a Southern American twang because they were singing Southern blues really, Southern blues rock, you know, artists like, like Led Zeppelin, you know, even like Americana singer songwriter artists like Elton John, you know, if you listen to them, they, they never sang with English accents, so I was brought up listening to that and feeding off of that. And after a while, I kind of picked it up, you know, even just from being little, I always sang like that. Um, and it really did feel like it could lend itself towards country music after a while. So I just thought, why not, you know? Um, I kind of really found my passion in country music three or four years ago. And I've always kind of flirted with the idea of it. And then one day I just said, you know what, you know, it's a niche, it's something to go with. And I, it's the music which I feel like I love more than anything. So let's just do it, let's just go for it. Well, I wasn't waiting for somebody like you. The album was recorded between here, Eiger Music Studios, and home. Um, I did play every instrument on the album and wrote every song. So being in a nice studio environment like this was so essential to getting the sound right for the album, you know. I feel like when you're making country music specifically, there's so many, so many different things you can do with the sound of the album, the mix, um, and having other people's input, you know, having a producer's input on the album, it really did affect where I wanted to go with it, and it helped me get the sound I was really going for. Cause there's a sweet heat building in the backseat, steaming up the back windshield. There's an atmosphere that's made it clear Something's going on over here So yeah, looks country to me, available everywhere now And um, just let me know what you think of the album I'm really excited to see where this where this takes me And, and breaking into the UK and the US country scene So thank you, Luke